I'm going to show you guys one of my projects here at my my line for my uh, mooring ball got tangled around it when there was no wind the other day and so it just came became so slack it just kind of draped itself down underneath the ball so I'm going to go in the water today and untangle that and uh, re-secure it for the remainder of the time that I'm here while the weather's nice it's supposed to kick up uh, this weekend I think Saturday night or Sunday it's going to start blowing again so I got to get that fixed while the weather's good and while the water is beautiful and clear I got in the water it was too cold so uh, I got out and I put on my wetsuit anyway I get back in the water and it's really nice really nice and clear and of course I'm looking down below me for some reason and uh, I don't even notice as I start looking at the boat bottom they're right in front of my face like close enough to get me uh, here's this barracuda and he's super chill um, at first I thought I startled him and he's gonna swim off but he just hangs out and like watches me and um, I, you know, I, I, I get close to him, but I also respect his space. You know, I don't want him to uh, think I'm trying to attack him or something like that. Uh, Barracuda, they, uh, they can defend themselves and, and they take a little chunk out of you in the process. Uh, it doesn't happen a lot, but very rarely uh, a Barracuda will bite a snorkeler. They tend to think that you're, um, you're a large predator and so they'll hang out with you thinking uh, you're going to kill something and they're going to get a little piece of it and so you know they they think it's feeding time sometimes so you, you got to look out for them this one uh, i mean easily close enough to spear i don't think i would eat a barracuda so um i don't think i would spear one either but uh this guy's really really cool example of a great barracuda and he's just hanging out under my boat he's he's pretty big to me i mean he looks like he's about four feet four feet long maybe just a little longer um definitely a, a big fish and so he kind of swims the other side and i play a little game of hide and seek with him here uh, i think he thinks he lost me and then uh you know i i pop out pop out on the other side and and here we are again you know anyway he's uh he lets me get quite close to him as you see there he is <laughs> and uh barracuda are ambush predators so they it's really interesting they you know they hide and they they use a burst of speed to ambush their prey they're very very um very aggressive and very mean fish i'll tell you what uh these things have very sharp teeth uh they're like uneven and they're they're in um they have teeth sockets and they have uh they have teeth on the roof of their mouth I mean, these things, very sharp teeth. Like when you fish for them, you have to use special leaders that they don't bite through, uh, steel leaders. Uh, Barracuda live to be like 14 years old. They, uh, they live inshore and offshore. They, anywhere from, um, from the mangroves out to the reef, up down to about 110 feet. It's not a deep water fish at all. Um, you know, he just uh, hangs out and eats reef fish and small fish and... Uh, maybe some squid, but uh, yeah, you don't you don't want to be on the other end of that. That that's a uh, that's definitely a, a fish that knows what he's doing when it comes to killing stuff. And uh, you know, I, so I definitely uh, give him his respect. Uh, and you know, but he shares the space with me for a moment, and uh, it's a really cool, re just a really neat moment to see this this beautiful beautiful fish up close. And you know, I, I'm not pulling him out of the water with my hook. Uh, he's just like hanging out in the same water I'm hanging out in. Anyways, I go over to the ball and I start working on it. Uh, it's all tangled up and I didn't realize that somebody had put this milk jug on there to mark that it was like their ball. That's something people do. They'll put anything that floats or kind of floats on a ball to claim it. And uh, what th the milk jug's full, so it ends up getting wrapped around my line and pulling my line down around the ball and so i end up having to uh untie this thing and it's i gotta get this red line untied because because really my line is tied up in that so i gotta take off the milk jug and i run it back to the dinghy and toss it in the dinghy and then come back and uh, what's interesting is you know on the way back to the dinghy look who's still here i thought he might have swam off but uh, he seems to have 
you know, staked his territory and he, he's hanging out. And every time I go back, he's just there chilling. So this thing, I takes me about five minutes to untie this mess. And, you know, I'm wearing gloves and I got camera, camera on one hand, which uh, you know, may, I maybe should have had a camera on my mask, which I do have a mount for. But, um, you know, eventually I get the thing untied and uh, I can go back on deck, make some adjustments and get it dialed in. But um, all in all, just it was just really good just to get in the water for a minute, even though you know I wasn't out fishing or, or doing anything super recreational. And of course, just to see the barracuda in the water was really awesome. And uh, you know, now my, my mooring ball situation squared away and I can go focus on some other things. Back to the business of untangling my line and uh, getting my morning ball squared away. I get it done, you know, the work gets handled, but definitely the highlight of this dive was uh, definitely seeing that barracuda. And uh, maybe next time I get in the water, he'll, he'll still be hanging out. We'll see.